Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Chipotle Walk Cup headphones in the Chipotle Burrito Maze. So we're going to hop right into it. So the first thing you want to do, you want to load into this Chipotle Burrito Maze game. I'll leave the link code to the game in the description and all the links you'll need. But I think that's the only one you'll need. But so we're going to hop right into it and get started. So how this works, you have to complete a maze to actually get to the item. So once you load in the game, you're going to walk up to this skeleton over here. You got to walk a little bit to get to this fence with the skeleton. And you're going to click on E to talk to him. And he's going to say, welcome to the maze. And you just have to reach the center. So I'm going to be showing you to do that. Once the screen pops up, there's little boosters you can get. Um, these actually are pretty helpful for you. And you can get the exclusive items. You also want to look for checkpoints along the way, so I'll show you how to get to the center. I don't know if it changes every time there's a new exclusive item or not, but I'll kind of show you the way through the maze. It's pretty easy, and one of the things you'll notice as you walk by these jack-o'-lanterns, they actually light up, so it kind of helps you guide the way where you want to go, and each one of these, um, each one of these little things actually has a special perk to it, like the, um, the chili pepper gives speed and the, uh, and this um, corn lets you see the entire map. So see how all these pumpkins are lit up. You can take a screenshot of this if you want to help you out to get to the center. I believe it's the same every time the um, the fruits, or I mean the vegetables, I believe, are placed differently every time. But other than that, it's all about the same and the jack o lanterns light up. So you're going to want to look for these Chipotle logos. And these are actually going to help you lead the way through the maze. So you're going to keep on going through and you can grab fruits along the way. And one of the tips with the fruit. One of the things you gotta know about them is that the fruits actually are only on the path of where you need to be. So if you don't see any fruits for a while, you're most likely on the wrong path. Just a heads up there. As you can tell, we're getting pretty close. I can't give you an exact rundown of this, but I'll try to find I'll try to find um, a corn at the end so I can show you guys what my light up pattern was like. Yeah, as you can tell, there's another checkpoint right over there. So we just gotta work way over to that and we'll be set. Oh, I'm a dead end now. But yeah, it, it does take a little bit to actually get through. Um. But yeah, the, the, the stuff's tall enough and there's barriers in front of it. You can't jump over it with the uh, super avocados. Trust me, I've tried a couple times. It doesn't work. But yeah, you're going to keep running through. My bad, I took the wrong path. My fault. I believe you go this way and then... Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, there's a chill pepper. I forgot this way. My bad. So you're going to keep on running through here and I believe it's here? There we go. Yeah, so whenever you're going up to checkpoints, that's how you know you're on the right path. So you just got to kind of keep an eye out for those. There's another checkpoint. Easy stuff. Get another avocado, take another big boy jump. Yeah, we're getting close. So we're actually going to head through here. We're going to get the corn real fast just to help us out. And you can take a screenshot of this if you want. It's going to be a little off at this point. But you're going to kind of lead up through this, up and around, through here, down to the center. We don't have that much further to go. But there are a couple more corns here, so I'll collect them for you guys so you can tell. And I'll show you the rundown of the map at the end. Yeah, and that little yellow dot's actually you. So if you literally just keep running while you have the corn up, it's pretty helpful. It's a pretty easy tactic. As you can tell, there's another checkpoint right there, so if you do die, um, like, if you hit any of these random guys that are, like, the witches and stuff like that, they actually will kill you, but the good thing is, if you touch the checkpoint, then you can simply just go back to the checkpoint. Pretty easy, so, as you can tell, we got the nice chili pepper, so now we can just sprint through the maze, we got the checkpoint, I believe it's right here? Yeah, so then we're just gonna run down, we got super speed and all, and there we go, so, if you wanna pop a screenshot of this, feel free, as you can tell, it says talk to them, so pop a screen of this real quick, pause the video if you need to. And get a quick screenshot of that. And then, once you make it to the middle, there's actually only one way in. So, it's really the only way you can do it, pretty much. Except for the parts that messed up. But, once you get here, you're going to talk to the skeleton. He's going to say, whoa, you made it. How cool. Nice, nice. And then, you're going to see these items. You don't have to spend Robux. But, you can simply get the free item. Click on collect. You get collected. You get the bags right there. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. You got yourself some nice guacamole headphones. Take these headphones. Smash some guacamole on them. You already know. But, that's the tutorial. Hope this helpful for you guys. Um, leave a like on the video if you liked it. Consider, yeah, consider subscribing to the channel. And make sure you get these headphones for yourself. I believe each one's available for about 24-ish hours. And then it cycles through new ones. But I'm not positive how long it's going to be out. So make sure you get it while you can. Because I'm assuming it's a limited time thing before it runs out. So make sure you all get yourselves this item. And I will see you all in the next one.